So there are three doses, four, four sets of vaccines children are usually given before they turn six months of age. I'm saying six months because this first six months of life, baby is still baby. You are still around them, most of us. You you feed them. Hey, my girl likes showing her face. Let me put her down and then continue. Yes, uh, so four sets I was saying. The first one, they are given immediately they are born. Watch my video on this must happen. The link will be in the description box. When baby is born, one of them is they are given a vaccine. Is it BCG or BGC? On the left or right arm, depending on where the country in which you are born. And then there is, is it polio for the mouth? They are given orally, sorry, not for the mouth, orally. Then the second set of vaccine comes in when they are 10 weeks of age. The details, I got no idea. I'm just talking about personal experience. If you're in the country, Kenya, please tell, share with me. Or medics, share with me what the vaccines are. But I think they are given two injections on the left and the right leg, on the left and the right hips. Tenth vaccine. Usually very painful. Oh my God, very painful. But there's the second one, which comes when they are, uh, no, the first dose is at six weeks, sorry. The first dose is at six weeks. The second dose is at 10 weeks. The third dose, imagine a child is given three injections. One, two, both on the, all on the hips, the right, the left, and then the right. So the right hip receives two injections and then there's, there's these ones that they're given on, uh, orally, seven, randomly, I don't know, but there's some order, it's not just randomly. But together with the injections on the hips, they are given some for the mouth. New parents or parents, I'm just telling you my experience, the first, for my first child, the dose which he was given at six weeks were the most painful before I became wise. <laughs> the second born, my wisdom was kind of interfered with by plan. Not by plan, accidents here and there. So uh, my wisdom was interfered with. So the, the third doses were the most painful. Most painful, I mean baby cries. So baby cries. So she's down here. I'm going to have to play with her. But uh, I will say three sets of vaccines, injections mostly, and they're usually painful. So parents. If you are planning, if you are thinking about it, how do you prepare for vaccination day in Africa, for example? You have to wake up early, but of course you choose where you want. If you want to go for private, private clinic vaccinations or uh, public clinic vaccinations, it depends with your pocket. When you go for public, uh, to, to a public hospital for vaccination in Kenya, at least I know it's free. When you go to private hospital for vaccination, you pay a fee, depending on the private hospital you visited, but it shouldn't be very expensive. Just in case you're going to a public hospital, expect to queue, so you wake up early, you move, you travel early, so you arrive early. But that's not the purpose of this video. Um, I was just going to do this video because I wanted to know. Share with me in the comment section, parents, what you do. That injection is usually painful. The child becomes fussy like the whole day. My girl was fussy for two days. Imagine, two days I even thought she had been hurt, maybe, <laughs> by the injection. So the child cries, could cry if you're going for vaccination day and you think, ah, my kashanya mother, no, 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 it sets up, it sets in, in the afternoons, around afternoon. So if you're leaving your child with a nanny and that day you come home and the house is unkept, have some understanding here. Probably the child was fussy the whole day. Okay? But mainly just expect the child to be fussy. There are things you could do. For me, I do want to. But people say you can you can carry an onion, so you cut it immediately there. there have been injected you cut it and place it on the place where it on the injection area onions tell me what you do mothers to help baby just have some soothing during that pain in that feeling of pain is it onions is it uh
fire us in. <laughs> Share with me in the comment section so that we educate people because that period can be very... I remember my first experience with a child who was crying and I was wondering. I had not given birth yet. I had not had my own child. And I was Googling. Imagine I was Googling how to come a vaccination fussy baby. Something like that. <laughs> In my innocence, I was trying to help a friend because you literally cannot do anything. Baby is crying. So what do you do? Share with me. Although I hear some children, you can give them some paracetamol, of course, syrup. I don't know. For me, I know if it's within the first two weeks after vaccination, you should not give baby anything because it interferes with the process. The aim of a vaccination is for the body to develop antibodies and immunity against the potential infection. So if you give uh, another drug, say paracetamol, for to help ease the pain, it interferes with the body because this is a new thing again introduced into the body. It interferes with the body making full immunity for the infection. At least that much I know. So, me, there's no paracetamol. <laughs> we embrace the day. We fight the day. But mainly this day, you can just stay around your child. Please, bosses, if you hear somebody has taken their child for vaccination and you know their child is within six months of age, have a kind heart. <laughs> Allow them. You want to stay around your child, you comfort them, you, you hug them all the time, it releases the pain before you go into your home remedies. Although, if you know them, we are asking, please share with us in the comment section so we know what to do. So basically, that's it. It's usually painful. What do you do? You can stay around your child, hug them, carry them, sway them. With my first child, I was enthusiastic. I went on a drive. Ah, I had so much energy. I went on a drive, like uh, almost a 150-kilometer drive, just to soothe baby. Hey. <laughs> yes, I come from, we don't spare. Oh, my God. So with the, with the second child, uh, it was normal. I was there saying sorry, hugging my baby, putting some ice cubes on the area that has been affected. And it went on for two days. So share with me in the comment section. That's it. I wanted to talk about how to prepare for vaccination day in Africa. If you're going to a public hospital, you go, you wake up early. Pack your bag with the things I've said you must never leave whenever stepping out to the child. The links are in the description box. Yes, there's a video for that. Pack your bag early, wake up early, arrive early. Though in some hospitals, if you go as a couple, you, you are given first priority. You are attended to faster than those ones who came singly. So dad, super dad, if you are planning to go to a public hospital, please escort mama. You will have the services offered to you faster. Because they want to encourage dads to come for vaccination days. If you're going to a public hospital, well, the time is yours, but it will cost you some fee. These are things to plan for earlier. And also just prepare for baby to be fussy. And we, I, I still don't know what works. I hear people say onions or paraffin. Ice cubes has helped me for a short time, but mostly you hold baby like I'm holding mine right now. This is just me feeling good, but this could also help in vaccination. You hold baby like this, they help stay calm. So that's it. See you in the next one. Bye.